Hello, it's Jim Hutchins for the Jerusalem Connection Spot Report for this 23rd of October, 2017. <clears throat> Israel is facing enemies at every turn. They're surrounded by enemies. Uh, just this past Friday, a high-ranking Hamas official, Hamas is in Gaza in the south, high-ranking Hamas delegation on Friday began to, to uh, visit Iran to inform its backers in Tehran about reconciliations efforts uh, with rival faction Fatah. Fatah is in the West Bank in Israel. Um, the group was led by recently appointed deputy Hamas chief Salah al aruri who is accused of organizing multiple deadly attacks against Isra Israelis. The group will meet senior Iranian officials over the next several days. Hamas and Fatah, these, these were uh, competing for leadership among the Palestinians. Now this is supposed to bring them together. Hamas and Fatah agreed to a landmark deal to end a decade-long split to seek a form of a unity government along with other parties. By meeting Iranian officials in, Iran, in Tehran, Hamas blatantly ignores Israel's demands that it cut off ties with Tehran or Israel will not recognize any unity Palestinian government. Israel has said not only do they cut off ties with Tehran, but they have to disarm. Hamas will do neither. Hamas has already rejected Israel's demands and accused the Zionist regime of intervening in internal Palestinian affairs. Hamas and Iran had been at odds over the uprising against Syrian President Bashar al-Assad. As a result of Hamas' refusal to support Assad uh, in the uprising, an angry Iran reportedly stopped supplying the terror group with weapons. This summer, however, Hamas leader Ismail Haniyeh thanked Iran thanked Iran for its unlimited support of the Al-Qassam brigades and its contribution to the development of Hamas military capabilities, an indication that the rift was over. And what this simply means is Israel is surrounded with its in, by its enemies, those who are dedicated to their uh, annihilation. Hamas in the south, Fatah, in the West Bank, Hezbollah in Lebanon, and then further north, Turkey, and then to the east, Iran, all committed to the destruction, the total destruction of Israel. Uh, as I thought of this, I remember the saying by the American general during the Second World War, when he was surrounded by his enemies, surrounded, he said, now we have them right where we want them. What he meant was he could fire in any direction and hit his enemy. Now, Israel has not said, now we have our enemies right where we want them. But they have recognized that they are totally surrounded. And their only help would be from the United States at this point. And I couldn't help but think of Psalm 121. Because I think you have to bring God into the equation. God has something to say about Israel. And one of the things that he says is Psalm 121. It says, he who watches over you will not, will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. It's a statement of God's sovereignty. And it's throughout the scriptures. He is in absolute and total control. God is sovereign over all affairs of the universe, including Israel. And I think they can take solace and consolation in that, as can we. He's in sovereign control of us. 
most high is sovereign over the kingdoms of men. He gives them to anyone that he wishes, and he places over them the lowliest of men. <clears throat> Yahweh has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. <clears throat> My pastor, yesterday, speaking the sovereignty of God, used the analogy that Jesus uses in Matthew chapter 10. He says this, Matthew chapter 10, verse 29, Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? And yet not one of them will fall to the ground apart from the will of your Father. Not a sparrow will fall to the ground apart from the Father's will. So Jesus says, don't be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. You are worth more than many sparrows. Israel is worth more than many sparrows. You are worth more. I'm worth more. His eye is on the sparrow. We need not be afraid. Till next week, O Ki Yavoshilo, until Messiah comes, Yivoreka Yahweh, Yahweh bless you, bless those you love, bless those who love you.